What's up ladies and gentlemen, King's Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough. Now in this episode we're gonna start off with solving some quests because there was quite a few quests that I had to do which included planting trackers or markers here and there so here we go. Bam! <clears throat> Let's do this again. Oh yes, these bastards were happy. I was doing a lot of quests and then came the quest where you have to wear the UN helmet and Untar armor and kill some scavs on shoreline I believe. So anyway we took our sniper rifle, we took all we needed and went into shoreline which turned out to be a really interesting quest. So we spawned on the extract or on the west side of the map and I pushed immediately for the gas station because we know that there's gonna be a lot of scares there. And as I came there, I started hearing some noises. So there was obviously two guys right next to me. And the problem why they came here is because a scav shot at me and they decided to go investigate on who did that scav shoot. So originally, I thought it's best to let them pass, because if they have full automatic guns, I have no chance with a sniper rifle. And yeah, they were searching for me intensively. I wonder how they didn't see me with that st stupid blue helmet just taken out of the bush. But I was in luck. They didn't see me, they didn't find me, so I had the upper hand. I had the surprise element on them right now. Oh yes, they had automatic weapons. And they were geared a lot. So as I see his friends start to push off, I start changing the angle to get a better shot on them, but I still needed them to stay still, which they didn't give me a chance so far. Not one of them stood still. So change the angle. I need I needed a better view angle to be able to give one of them at least a headshot. But they kind of disappeared. They couldn't be far. Oh, there they are. And I missed my first shot. 
Damn. So that was not good. Now they knew somebody was still here. Somebody was looking at them. But I couldn't find them once again. They probably rushed down the hill so I couldn't see them anymore. Because they were nowhere to be found. So I started pushing also more to the left to see where they are. To have a better angle. To have a new angle on them. But as I came up to this bush. I quickly realized. They were already flanking me. So the only thing I could have done was now fall back because I'm not for close range engagement with this weapon. I mean, you can kill people, but it's really hard. So I pushed back and saw them again. But this time they saw me as well. <sighs> Now I couldn't tell for sure, but I thought that I killed one, but I had to push a push back far back because this guy was gonna push me hard. And as you can see, he started throwing nades like crazy. So I was hoping that at least one of them was dead. I didn't have time for surgery, so... I could only patch up quickly, heal up a little bit, and then see where this dude is going. Since I couldn't hear him, I wanted to push even further back so he doesn't find me that easily. It's never a smart idea to pick up the first push that you get to, because usually they're gonna look into it immediately. So he was still looking for me, obviously, on that hill. He was hoping I would be there. There he was, just for a brief moment. I was waiting for him to pop back up and give me an opportunity for a shot, but I quickly realized that is probably not going to happen. And if he does push down the hill, he's gonna be on a really close range to me, which pretty much is not gonna end up good for me, because I believe he was rocking an SA-58, which was probably fully loaded with good ammo, so all it took was probably two shots. In that case, I started pushing even further back, in hopes I could get to that hill and get the high ground advantage to be able to see him. So he's obviously still searching over there. I had to break for the hill. So I started sprinting in hopes that he wouldn't see me going there. I did saw him there for a brief moment, but now I'm hoping that he didn't see me. Oh, he was right here. All I needed is one good shot. And that was it. Woo! A lot of action for the first raid with this gun. So first up, I had to heal up. I had to fix my arm, heal up fully, and then I could go loot these guys and see what they had. But they were obviously loaded as hell. I was looking for his friend's body in the back there. And I was quite sure he was dead because if he wasn't, he would be pushing with him. And, oh yes, SA-58, his friend's gear, he obviously picked it up. So all I did now was search for items, drop that bloody armor, because, hey, these items are much, much better. 
So yeah, an SVD, SA58, two airframe helmets fully decked out, good ammo, good guns, my god, this was so good, and I was already so heavy, so I decided to drop the backpack right here, and then go search for his friend's body to check if he had anything else. I even decided to take the airframe as well, because there was no point in wearing that blue helmet since I wouldn't be able to use it. And as I was pushing back, somebody was pushing towards me as well. Two guys. Okay, so that was one dead. But I knew his friend is gonna get stuck somewhere in those bushes 100%. I gave him a couple of seconds to see if he's gonna re-peek, but I didn't think that was going to happen. He was going to camp his friend's body. So after sitting here for maybe a minute or so, I decide to take a flank around the hill and try to find this guy. But it would be more difficult task than I accepted. So I slowly push for this push again on the top of the hill, just to check if I could see this dude anywhere, but I didn't see him at all. I was scoping through the bushes to find him, but unfortunately I couldn't see him anywhere. So I was looking and looking and thinking what to do now. He must be sitting somewhere in these bushes, but I can't see him anywhere. So obviously I had time on hand, which I am usually a patient guy in this game, I can wait quite long in the same bush just to get that someone. So as I couldn't find him, I decided to push back for the other body that I killed. And yeah, he was pretty much looted, but these grenades, oh, these grenades is something that's gonna help me a lot in this task, in task of flushing that guy out of a bush. So I came back to the same bush I was in before and started looking once again if I would see him move. And then I started throwing grenades all around these bushes. Oh, and there he was. He obviously saw me. And he's obviously somewhere in that bush. And there we go. His friend was also dead, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell 100%, so I threw another nade in there just to make sure that he's actually dead. So after that quick fight, I started pushing to see, and yes, I did kill him. He didn't have much, but whatever he did have, hey, that's good for me. So I looted his friend's body as well, oh, and they had intelligence folder, another grenade. So yeah, they weren't as loaded as the first two guys, but still, they were loaded. So I had to go back for the original backpack that I took, and I had to start organizing these things because there was a lot of gear to take with me and I simply couldn't take everything. So I took everything that I knew was worth, I kind of managed to pack these things in. And then I start to push away, but then I decide, you know what, I should throw my sniper and pick up his SVD, because why not, the SVD is quite valuable weapon, and since mine is sitting in this bush, nobody's gonna find it probably, so I'll just get it back from the insurance. So after having all those fights, 
and plays, I started pushing towards the extract and I did extract alive with a lot of gear on my hands. So I started quickly organizing my inventory. Yeah, it wasn't an easy task, but hey, after organizing my inventory, it was time to go in another raid. So this raid, we went once again onto shoreline and I spawned down near the industrial area and started pushing up. And as I pushed up here, people were fighting a lot around this area. So I killed this guy nice and easy, no problem. Was looking if he had a friend or no. Listening to old possible noises. And he obviously didn't have a friend. But even though he didn't have a friend, there would be other people coming. So as I start move, to move back, I heard somebody else running. And there was obviously two of them. And that was one dude dead. So now all I had to do is take care of his friend and I would have quite a lot of loot on my hand. So I knew he was somewhere up here. I was just trying to find him. And there he was. And of course he teleported, he had to lag, but in that lag he saw me, he peeked once and gave me instant headshot. How wonderful, thank you game for the lag, that's amazing. So after that miserable raid, I went back and I completed some other quests, so this one with killing the scavs was finally done. And this dude needed some more food on his hand, so I gave him some food. Now, that was not the end of the quests. We needed to mark the UN trucks on shoreline. Which was pretty much... Yeah, pain in the ass. Because one of the trucks is located at the resort, the other one is located where I just spawned last raid. So that means all the way down on the shoreline in the construction area. Well, nevertheless, we went in for it. So yeah, after finishing a couple of more quests for those guys, I was running through the customs, got dehydrated, got that quest done, and just as I wanted to go across the road again, I came across somebody else in this bush area next to dorms.
That was one dude dead. Nice. So I push immediately for his gear, because I never heard anybody else. But there was somebody else. His friend was camping behind this tree. Ooh, thank god I killed that dude as well. I picked up their gear immediately, and yeah, they were also quite loaded. They both had good AKs, both had good gear. Unfortunately, I couldn't take everything, so... They had nades, they had good bullets, but unfortunately my inventory is not big enough to be able to carry two armored rigs and a Zuck. So, yeah. I had to make some hard choices once again, and I decided to leave his body armor on him, because I believe Tech Tech would use me much more than that body armor. So after quickly organizing my inventory, I went out and I extracted, I was again loaded with gear and I also sold the quest with dehydration for that dumbass Jaeger. So after organizing my inventory once again, quickly and efficiently or as efficiently as possible, I went in to turn the quest in. So this episode, I was pretty much steamrolling through the quests, I was solving a lot of marking quests, but there were a couple of more marking quests to be done and planting quests, which is gonna be up in our next episode. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope if you did, you're gonna leave a thumbs up, and if you like my channel, if you like my videos, please subscribe, hit that notifications button to be notified when another video comes out. I'll see you in the next one.